Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Chicago. What is going on, Geeky Gun guys and gals? Hope you guys had an amazing Christmas and Happy New Year. Happy 2021. We made it! Today I got another dope ass video for you guys. What? But first, if you're into all things geeky and or gun and or guy, please consider hitting that subscribe button and clicking the bell notification so you don't miss any of these videos. And if you're already subscribed, welcome back. So if you're like me, growing up on action movies as a kid, my parents raised me right, then you know that all the dope spies, detectives, just general badasses have one of these guys. That's right, a shoulder holster. James Bond, John McClane, Nathan Drake. Actually, I don't even know if it's legal to wear one of these without a Henley shirt. Actually, one second. Spoon! That's better. But yeah, some may say that they're a little outdated. I, on the other hand, think they're dope as balls. So this specific holster is from Craft Holsters, and a super cool ass dude named Al reached out to me on Instagram. And I have always wanted a shoulder holster, and the stars aligned and God sent me out. Not gonna lie, I kinda wanted the brown one. They didn't have it in stock, but Al was more than willing to make one for me. But I told him black was fine. It's slimming. And he said, perfect, I'll send you an extra large holster. And if you happen to be a little bigger, let me know and I'll make some adjustments. I was like, dang, dude. Yeah, send me the extra large though. And since I'm going with the old school shoulder holster look, I asked him to make it for an old school classic, my 1911. But first, you guys know the drill. Safety check. Eject the mag, make sure there's no rounds in the magazine. Rack the slide back, lock it in place. Visually and physically check that there is no round in the chamber. Rack your slide forward and click. So their website is super easy to maneuver through. I was a little concerned because they had buku number of 1911 models, but nothing about ones with a compensator. And I was concerned that it wouldn't fit, but it came in, fit perfectly. Just sticks out a touch, but Fine by me. And this is the first holster that I actually ever had for my 1911. Let's take a look at it up close. And here it is. So they use the finest European leather. Well, to be honest, I don't know dick about leather, but... It smells amazing. Remember a million years ago, back when malls were open? And you'd walk by that leather store that sold like briefcases and luggage? and leather jackets. <sighs> yep. The shoulder straps that they use are super comfortable. Like it's not like a rigid leather belt. It's more softer than that, but it's sturdy enough to like keep its shape and hug your body. So there's adjustment points everywhere, which is great because you don't want it to be fitting a little too loose nor too tight. It just so happened that how it came in the package fit me perfectly. Super easy adjustments. You just need a Phillips head screwdriver or a flathead. So you can adjust the handgun side on both arms of the loop. And same thing with the magazine side, both here and here. On the magazine side, it's a nylon loop that they used, which at first glance, I initially wished that they used leather material but later i found that the nylon material was more forgiving with the movement and on the inside of the mag pouch you could see craft holsters and falco holsters they're kind of two in the same company and the magazine retention on these is great you know it's brand new so and for this review i'm keeping these magazines and the holsters loaded to help counterbalance with the weight I do wish that they had magazine holsters that held the uh, extended 10 round mags for the 1911, but it's still dope, so I'm not complaining. And on the gun holster side, again, you pick your make, your model, and the fitment of a leather holster. Again, I've never owned a leather holster, but 
spot on. And as you can see, the compensator just barely peeks out of the holster. It's perfect because I wanted to keep that on here. And I haven't mentioned this before, but this is called their vertical roto shoulder holster. And why they call it that, well one, the gun stays vertical on your side. And I like that because it's not all up under your underarm and sticking out here sticking out the back I like that they kept it vertical and the roto part of it is with your index finger when you're drawing all you do is flick that off and it actually rotates a touch so it's easier to draw which is an awesome feature which makes it super smooth and so much easier to draw and putting it on is super easy just like putting on a jacket that could kill you. And this guy goes under the belt, behind, and it snaps. And on this side, the little nylon part, same thing. So, so, so comfortable and very uh, maneuverable. And now how do you draw from the damn thing? Well, with under the arm shoulder holsters, you have to get your arm out of the way somehow. Last thing you want is taking a round in that arm, major artery, bad news. So you move this arm out of the way by doing a rhino horn or like you're blocking a hook or chicken wing, your call. And again, so easy to draw. And you wanna keep in mind also while moving your arm out of the way, there is gonna be an arc when presenting. So of course, drawing with your finger off of the trigger, you're gonna be sweeping this way and out. So again, arm out of the way, unbuckle, Again, it rotates so nice. Draw out. And again, it's gonna arc and out. And to reholster. And lock it back up. Super sleek, super comfortable, super badass. Huge shout out again to Al from Craft Holsters for the Would You Rather. Would you rather die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain? Oh, who said that? Leave it in the comments. But seriously, if you had superpowers, would you rather be a hero or a villain? No judgment. Let me know down in the comments. And if you haven't already, go ahead and gingerly tap that like and subscribe button. But thanks for hanging out with me today. And a huge thank you to Al from Craft Holsters again. I'm trying to make somebody's day today. But most importantly, don't forget, don't be a dick, be a blessing.